cover crop guy. It is August 28th, and I'm actually in Quebec. Um, so learning about the practice of interseeding cover crop into standing corn. They've been doing it successfully here for five or six years. So they're starting to come up with machines that can do it on a bigger scale. So here we have an AP air seeder, and then there's a um, clasp there to put on 28 on this fertilizer bar and then it hydraulically closes so we can get down the road and then there's just these tubes that run out the annual ryegrass um, as your side dressing and then there's also some disbursement plates here um, and so this is a 16 row unit and what I want to do next is take us over to where they've actually seeded annual ryegrass so here I am walking into the corn as you can see, it's really healthy. Uh, they typically do about 112 day corn here at the most. And here is annual ryegrass that was interseeded at V5. Um, and, you know, it looks kind of like it's died back, a little unhealthy. Uh, and that's okay. Because um, they're finding no yield loss into their corn. And you can kind of see this corn looks really healthy and no moisture competition. Uh, largely and they're finding that with their herbicide programs up here um, they they don't have residual carryover and that's the big thing that we're trying to figure out in northwest indiana you know the midwest is what is what can we do uh, to to make this happen successfully because from a soil health benefit conservation benefit this is this is super huge i mean this is really scary you you would typically think weeds gotten out of control here but what this gives us is a nice, when we harvest, a nice green carpet for the rest of the winter. And also all the soil health, you know, water quality benefits that we want to see. So, trying to learn here from what they've done successfully. I can see even they have some crimson clover uh, that has successfully made it through as well. So that, that's a whole other element of adding diversity to our rotations. While still doing just a corn bean rotation or even corn after corn. Uh, pretty pretty pro profound stuff so learning from our Canadian brethren and sisters on how to farm better